Good morning, everyone. This is Sarah Madrick with Keller Williams and Jennifer Paul with Keller Williams. We're at Rapper Mortgage with the Mortgage Chef. Yes. Hi. Welcome. So we're here for our very first live podcast together. So it's kind of interesting that me and her are talking together. We've never done this. No, we talk all day long on the phone. Literally all day long. So it's kind of interesting. So now <laughs> you should just put cameras on that. We should. Now you get to hear what we talk about all day about the market and life and everything going on. Yeah, we'll keep it PG, though. So. Oh, yes, very much so. <laughs> yeah, so we want to come on really quick, kind of chat. Spring market, it is here. I know it's only uh, February. I almost said January, but it's definitely February. <laughs> uh, and spring market came in real hot. I know you were super busy this weekend. Ugh, what are you last- seeing? So multiple, mul- a lot of multiple offers. House is going within, again, a day or two, which is scary because I have buyers from two years ago, three years ago, they're now coming back out. They're getting scared again. Yeah. So I've had the same thing. I had clients who wanted to wait, wanted to wait. Um, I think you missed your window. So this message is to my clients who wanted to wait. Uh, I hope you watch this podcast. You missed your window. I, you know, maybe it was, I would say probably like October to December was that itty bitty window where I saw some clients pull some really good deals on concessions being paid. Even I would say probably October to probably Martin Luther King Day. Because once I got back from Glover U, that week after I put $2 million under contract and I was getting stuff at asking or below and we got concessions, inspections and had no issues. Now it's, I'm fighting tooth and nail, multiple offers, got to wave stuff and it's scary. I don't want to go back in that market. Yeah, I know. I say I have PTSD from uh, uh, writing no inspections and you know, praying that it doesn't, you know, as much as you advise your clients, there's, they have no option. Their hands are tied yeah. in that opportunity. And for example, my parents bought a house in the craziest market. They were all cash buyers. We were thousands above asking. <clears throat> we had to waive the inspection to get the house because there was other offers waiving the inspection. And, um, you know, there's sill plates rotted out on the house. And <laughs> it's a little awkward at Thanksgiving and Christmas because, uh, I know they don't blame their daughter as a realtor, but, um, you know, it's just... They, but they still do. Yeah, right? I'm sure. Every night, I'm out of their inheritance. I'm out of their will because of the still play. Um, but, yeah, needless to say, I mean, but at the end of the day, they got the house they wanted in the location they wanted. Um, so it's... But it's tough. It's a tough conversation. It's a tough, tough situation. So, but, yeah, I think this market is heading back into it, even though, and we'll touch a little bit on interest rates there higher than they were the last couple of years, but... But not as high as they were in, what was it, September, October, where it hit high sixes, maybe even touched seven a bit? Yeah, depending on your credit score. I had yeah. a client with a, a 7%, and I'm like... Yeah. So, it's, you know, we, we feel it too. We're realtors are consumers too. We purchase homes, we sell homes. So and right now I'm in the market to purchase. I'm looking to buy, and it's a little scary. So. You need a realtor. I have one. <laughs> I'm <for> sure. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be calling you to go look at houses too with me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so interest rates right now, mid sixes, and you could buy down. So we could chat a little bit about that, or you can talk to Rapid Mortgage, Mortgage Chef about um, buying down. It's an option. Mm-hmm. Maybe get five, nine. But, uh, you know, I follow trends. I follow feds. You, you know what's going on. I don't see that we're going to get ever to the twos again. I oh, just... I hope we don't ever get to the twos again. I hope we don't ever get to low threes do again. Not, do not that don't have any money in your pocket. <laughs> because... No one's, I was going to buy so much and then we're going to be in this low inventory again. I never want to see this again. Yeah, it's super hard. So if uh, anyone wants to build a house, let's do it. Then we can have some more inventory. I think that'll help a little bit. These builders are still trucking through. New construction is still, I see new developments going up all over. But they're, si- they're sitting a little bit longer. New construction is sitting I, yeah, a lot. I got an email yesterday. Uh, there are some quick move and ready homes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was Dries that sent over... Um, or maybe it was Kato Vandy. Yeah, someone sent over an email yesterday. I was looking at some of the, the quick move-ins. So that's an option, too, if you want a new house. And, and I got a new construction that will be clo- under contract, 10, 10 k under. Oh, okay. So it's possible. They're sitting. So they're they're looking to move them. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. well, if you've got any questions on the market, uh, interest rates or anything like that, or if you've got some new topics you want Sarah and I to talk about, just let us know. Yes. Have a great day, everyone. We look forward to hearing from you. Yeah.